Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can add a painting to that wall in Rhino. So let's go here. I want to hide this couch. Okay, uh, so for the painting, I'm going to use a similar method to that rug over there. So I want to go with a surface. Notice that I have already created a layer for my painting. So I want to create a surface. It's going to be a vertical surface. The painting that I have in mind uh, is this painting over here. So if I hover my mouse around here, you see that the dimension is 1200 by 850. So that means the surface that I create should have the same ratio. And for the next edge, I want to assign maybe 1200. Uh, it's going to move up and uh, I'm going to assign uh, 857 and click here once. So this is going to be the surface of my painting. Okay. Uh, first, I want to move it a little bit inside the room. So I'm going to go here. How about I uh, kind of select all the lights and I want to hide them. Okay. So I want to select this uh, painting and I want to move it. I'll go with M. Uh, project is on. Midpoint should be on from the midpoint of this painting, I want to move it around the midpoint of the wall. Uh, now I need to move this up. I'm going to type M. It's going to be vertical. I can turn project off. And I want to click here, moving up. Uh, let's say maybe it's going to be like about 1200 above the ground should be good. So I'm going to type 1200. Uh, this seems about right. Uh, so this is going to be my painting. I can move it like uh, like only even one millimeter away from the wall. So it's not going to overlap with the surface of the wall. So the painting is going to look good. I'm going to turn project on and I want to type one. Right. So now you see it's not overlapping anymore. Uh, I want to select the surface of the painting. Then I want to invert the selection using this icon and hide everything else. Now I want to switch to render. So now it's going to be easier to only focus on that surface. I'm going to select it. Uh, in the materials, I want to go to material. I want to create a new material. You can go with either custom or picture. I'll go with custom and to the color, I want to assign the same image. Uh, this is the image open. I'll go with OK. Uh, I want to go back to shaded. Uh, and for the edges, I want to actually have also a frame. Uh, I'm going to create a new sub layer for the frame of the painting. And this should be my active view. Uh, and here I want to create one rectangle, which is vertical. A uh, project should be off going from here to here to here. I want to select the curve and I want to offset that by maybe about four centimeters. So it's going to be 40 millimeters. Uh, click here once, hold shift, select this other edge. And now I want to extrude uh, the two edges, extrude curve. A solid should be yes. Yes, it's going to be solid. Let's say it's going to be extruded by 50 millimeters or five centimeters. So this is the frame. For the frame, I want to create a different material. I'm going to go to material, go to use from library. Uh, I'm going to use some kind of wood, looking for a dark wood, which is not reflective. Uh, maybe this one. Okay, uh, now you can go to standard view, turn everything on. And uh, if you go to render, you're going to see that the painting uh, is going to show. Uh, so the painting is okay. Another thing I want to tell you is about uh, a different light. If I go to render tools in the last videos, we talked about uh, rectangular light. We also talked about the spotlight. Today, I want to talk about point light. So when you have uh, some kind of um, halogens over here, it's going to be a spotlight. But when you have a pendant, it's better to go with a point light. Uh, so I want to change this back to shaded. 
uh, I wanna go here. You remember that in the last video, uh, we created actually five spotlights. I'm gonna hide this couch for a second. So two of them is towards the painting. One of them is looking to that wall, and uh, two other ones are looking to this space. Right. So maybe I can get rid of uh, one of these lights over here, either that one or this one. And uh, instead of these two, I want to uh, create a light at the middle of this object, uh, which is kind of a pendant lighting. Right. So I, I want to go to my render tools. I want to go to uh, point light here. And I can click here once. Uh, I want to select the light in this other view. Maybe I can go to one of my uh, 2D views and I want to turn project on and I just want to move this up so it's going to be uh, at the middle of this lighting fixture. So if I go here, if I select the light, you see that it's over there. I can go back here and if I go to my lighting panel, uh, the new light is added here. As you see, it says point. I can also change the name here. Uh, I want to rename it as point light. You can also change the color. So I can go here and uh, go with this color that I used the last time. This seems good. So now uh, we have one pendant light over there. We have a very a weak rectangular light right behind the window and we have three spotlights, two of them looking to the painting, one of them looking to that other wall. So uh, I want to go to standard panel, uh, click on this so every object will be turned on uh, and we can take a test render. You remember that for the test render you can check the file properties. This is on 600. Uh, 72 low quality this is good I'm gonna go to my render tools and uh, try this render uh, so the test render is ready you see that uh, actually the form of this fixture is affecting uh, the shadows if you don't like it you can go with a different form also you see that it's too light actually so I want to close this uh, I want to go to my lighting panel and that point light I want it to be reduced to one-fifth of what it is right now so I want to go with like point 0.2 even maybe point 0.1 would work so we can try point 0.1 uh, I want to close this and I want to render again uh, so this is a test render you can still work on the lights and everything uh, when you are ready you can change these properties for the final render, I want to suggest 300, change this to final, and if you put it on 1000, this should probably take between 1 to 2 hours. If you have time, you can set this to like 3000 or 3200 pixels, and you can leave it overnight, uh, maybe for 6 to 7 hours.